Sana. Yagami-san, can we meet up again? There's something I need to tell you. Of course. Is something wrong? No, it's more like I need to sort out how I feel. Are you free right now? Yeah, I am. Let's meet up at Theater Square then. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Wow, okay. Hmm. Yes, you should. Let's go to La Marche and visit Showa at the same time. The Popo Star in Showa. Showa is the name of a era in Japan. It's kind of like saying back in the day. I think the era runs from the 20s to the 80s, so it's like saying the 80s street or something. Ooh, my health is not doing so hot today. Ow! Oh! Come on! <laughs> he spent so long psyching himself up that he didn't get a hit in. Um... Behind us is a sushi restaurant. I want to go to a place so we can get the check marks off. But there's none around here. Hmm? Who's this from? Good work, Yagami-san! Way to send those Keihin thugs packing! Everyone in town is practically cheering your name at this point. So we decided to leave a little token of our gratitude. I haven't even gotten your last one yet. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I'm here to pick up a package. Um, here you go. Oh, sure. Just a moment. Here's your order, sir. Thank you very much, sir. That'll do for Tsukumo. Better text him. Hey, I got your package. Thanks a ton. Can you swing it by Mandai? On my way. All right, off to Mandai. The Internet Cafe. Can I eat something here so my screen isn't all, like, blurry and stuff? Buy more sushi sets. I guess I can always just eat the sushi sets, but it's better for me to go to a restaurant, right? So I'm not wasting the items. Where is the closest restaurant? Kyushu number one star? I think we already ate there though. Maybe here. I don't really want to do a friend thing, I just want to have some food. <laughs> That's all. Maybe the smile burger here, on the way to Sana. Does she just want to make sure and clarify if we're like a thing or not? Is that what she wants to do? Anjouri. Shut your damn fool mouth and let me have my suit the way I want it. But sir, if you don't let me hem your pant legs, your suit will look quite baggy. Ah. Quit your belly aching, tailor man! I like my suits like I like my ladies. Loose, cheap, and not too clingy. I bet you would never figure as much yapping on and on the way you Tokyo stinkheads do. Always wasting my goddamn time. Mm. Sir, that's not what I'm trying to... <sighs> Why would anyone pick on their friendly neighborhood tailor? I can't just let this slide. I know. Terahara-san, is everything alright? Oh, Yagami-sama. Well, as you can see, this customer suit is quite ill-fitting. Ah. Who's this boy band looking knockoff? Who is actually from a boy band? <laughs> all I mean to do is make a normal ass purchase, and now you gather up a circus? You're the one making a big scene. Hey, it ain't my fault his high and mighty jabber jaw won't stop hemming and hawing about hawking my off my hems. Sheesh! Like I said before, sir, if the hem of your pants were adjusted ever so slightly... <laughs> still running your mouth about it, huh? Why don't you seal your mouth shut? Better yet, I should do it for ya! Would you mind not yelling like that? You're upsetting the other customers. There are none. <laughs> Just who do you think you're talking to, Mr. Big Shot Tokyo Boy? You can't order me around! That's not my intention. I'm just asking you to show some basic manners. Jeez, what is wrong with that guy? Wow, there's actually people in here today. Can't believe he's screaming his head off in public. See what you did? You upset the other customers! Especially with that giant mop of pubes on your head. It's your lack of decency that's getting them all riled up. Why don't you show some respect? 
You want respect? I'll teach you respect. Come on, we're taking this outside. Uh... Fine. Let's just get this over with. Um, will you be alright, Yagami-sama? Nothing to worry about. I just need to step out real quick. <sighs> if you say you're gonna do it quick, then do it quick. I'm practically falling asleep here. Okay, uh... okay. I didn't eat yet. <laughs> Making a fool out of me back there? The nerve of ya. I'm about to put my foot up your ass. Vulgar and violent. You really are a pain to deal with. Huh, <laughs> you want a lesson in pain, huh? Then get ready to get schooled, pretty boy. Kakattekoi. <laughs> Bring it on. I can't even see you. Oh! Probably better for me to eat a little bit. Don't want to accidentally die to some random thug, right? <laughs> the store's closed. There's nothing for me to throw around here. Maybe the jumping over people is only for crane style? What in the hundred hells just happened? Well, have you finally learned your manners? Hey, you don't need to rake me over the coals now. I was just skipping out on this rag store anyway. A moment, sir. For the last time, I don't give a damn anymore. I'm leaving. Sir, I implore you to wait. This was all due to a lack of you. <laughs> the guy just went away in the back. This was all due to a lack of communication on my part. Please, allow me to explain. <coughs> What are you rambling on about this time? I failed to mention this before, sir. But I noticed your shoes were quite worn down at the soles. Compared to how nice they look up top, I assumed that your profession requires a lot of walking. Well, yeah, you could say that. As such, I thought that adjusting the hem would make it far easier for you to walk around. And it reduces wear and tear. Hmm, now that you mention it. The pant legs do end up dragging an awful lot. No wonder my suit looks shot to shit. Yeah. And that is precisely why. I'd be honored to make you another one that fits you to a T. Oh. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Guess I'll be leaving this in your capable hands. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry I made such a big fuss back there. Make me a badass suit, yeah? With pleasure, sir. In the end, he ended up getting it anyway. What an incredible turnaround. It's all thanks to you, Yagami-sama. Nah, it was all you. Customer service is no joke, huh? It's something I always take seriously. Now, at least, let me do you a small favor. Perhaps I can make you that suit? I'm actually here to get things for my future girlfriend, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> That'll be great, but how expensive would it be? Come now, you don't think I'd offer this on the house? After all you've done to help me? Seriously? Suits are expensive. Hey, then I say go for it. Mm. Oh, but I don't remember my size. Not a problem. I've been in the business so long, I can figure out a person's measurements with just a glance. That's quite a talent you got there. All in the day's work. It won't be long before your suit is done, so please come by and pick it up whenever you have time. Got it. Thanks so much. My pleasure, sir. You're going to like the way you look, I guarantee it. Well, I already know how I look in a suit, because, you know, I was a lawyer. Thanks, Terahara-san. I'll be back soon. I'm back already for my suit. <laughs> um, I think we should buy some of the more expensive stuff just to have it lying around, too. Cute yet unadorned watch. High-end watch? That's a little too high-end, right? I don't know about that. Mmm... Trink... I forgot what I gave her last time. The white pearl ones. So I'll buy these ones. Gold, cross, heart earrings, trinity circle, heart ring, midnight ring, shiny flower ring. This is expensive. Shining like a star takes an out of the world price tag. Dang. Whoa, how much am I buying? I'm already getting... Spending half my money here. Oh, it's the ring. Forget about the ring. 
I, we're not really dating yet. I don't want to spend my whole life savings on her. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I'll be back soon. For my suit. Now, if we can eat at the Smile Burger, that's right around the corner or something. That would be real nice. Suddenly so quiet. Feel like we've been hunted down by so many people here. Is this Kyushu number one star? What is this? No! This is like a pawn shop or something. Ebis is a pawn. I'm here to buy. Oh. Oh, maybe I can sell the plates for money. Yeah? Can I sell? The plates! I can probably sell these for money, right? Hefty son over at a pawn shop. Yeah. Do I need these normally though? Like, should I be not... Should I be keeping them at all? I'm not sure. Guess I'll just sell that. It's not that much money anyway. Thank you. I'll sell that right back to you. Wow, there's a little unassuming pawn shop. Right in the middle of nowhere. We just picked up a pebble. Okay. Oh, I look so bad right now because the, the screen. I have such low health. Oh, I ate everything here already too. Dang. Have we eaten at most places already? Is that why I'm having some trouble finding places I haven't finished eating at? Maybe. Back to Sana then. Although we really should be going to Kanai to investigate Adachi a bit. Almost got me. Money! Thank you. Bye, Nishino. Low expectations. Woo. Oh, we haven't been to this place before. Nagasaki Champon? Ringer hat? Ringer hut. Yeah, Nagasaki Champon. We'll just eat everything here because we can. Here we go. This is where I should have been. Instead of the Smile Burger. You're welcome. Sana Sana! Uh... <laughs> and you are? Wait, Sana-chan? What's with the hair? <laughs> it's a wig, silly. Now people won't notice it's me. Just like a real celebrity, huh? Having to go incognito. Oh, wow. What should I give her? Eh, you were cuter normally, but you're cute like this too. Should I give her a little cute ring? Well, the watch would be better. I want to give the watch more. So I actually have something for you. What? Really? Yeah. Check this out. Yeah. I don't know if the price of the thing actually matters. She seems to be pretty happy with it. Happier than last time. The crappy earrings. <laughs> now where should we go today? Uh, darts like we said last time? You ever play darts before? Of course, my friends and I play all the time. Cool. Then why don't we head on over? I don't want to go to the batting center and look like an idiot again. That place was actually kind of hard. It wasn't easy. Alright, Sanachan, show me what you've got. <laughs> <laughs> to tell you the truth, I'm actually really good. Uh-oh. Ready to lose? 
Oh, I don't think I'll be losing anytime soon. Sounds like you're pretty sure of yourself. Then show me what you got. Okay, but I won't hold anything back. <laughs> Bring it on! Well, I actually like this better because I would rather have a challenge than her just watching me play at the batting center. <laughs> Throw, confirm. Okay. Beginner darts. Great C. That's all I got. Uh, one, I guess. I don't know what this means. <laughs> Takayuki Yagami versus Sanami Hama. Yagami san, shoubu desu! It's a fight, Yagami-san! Do I want to do it... Uh, in the middle there? Okay. Ah! Well, not too bad. Not too bad. Ah! <laughs> not horrible. Oh, she has her scores there, too. But can I see her throw? That would be nice. Yeah! Player change. Oh, no, no, this was me. Now it's her turn. Who? Uh -huh. Oh, you're way worse than me. <laughs> I don't know how the scoring works, though, the 238, 230. Am I doing better than her? I would assume so. Oh, so close! <laughs> how could that be? Low ton. Oh, is it um first person gets over 301 points wins? And the score is going down until you get to zero. Is that how that works? Nice. Damn. Hey, she's actually doing hotter than me. Her number is lower. I think that's better, right? I don't know. She's not happy. Doesn't mean I'm gonna go easy on you, though. Oh! So close. I like the soothing music. The triple, double, single? I don't really... I just sort of assume that getting closer is better. But I don't know if there is any sort of like strategy involving... Okay, maybe I want to throw further on purpose. So I can get a triple or whatever. What?! <gasps> Wait, what? What was that? Oh, I busted! Oh, oh, shoot! It's because I have 30 left. So I don't want to get over 30. Oh! She won! Ah, it's not always about getting the highest score because you want to get 301 on the dot. Well, nice, nice. But I hope that wasn't too bad of a showing either. Yay, I won! Dang, I can do better than this. Don't worry, I'll let you have a rematch anytime you want. Next time I'll win for sure. I like that she won without like me going easy on her. That's good. That's fair, she won fair and square. <laughs> that was really fun, Yagami-san. You think we could go back to your office? Sure. 
Then you can finally take that wig off. <laughs> yeah. You know, knowing that suspicious guy though, he probably recognizes me. And would be like, hey, who's that girl that guy's with again? Wow, I almost forgot how you look like normally. <laughs> Disguise. For a moment, I really couldn't tell that was you. You give off a completely different vibe when you're blonde. <laughs> so, which do you like better? Um, I like them both, but I like your usual hair better. Hmm, I prefer your usual hair. So you're saying I don't look good blonde? No, that's not it at all. I just prefer a more natural look, I guess. So you'd like a girl with straight hair and a bob and a low-key hair color? Well, yeah, I guess so. Ah, oh, good to know. <laughs> I thought we bungled it up just now, but we didn't. So how's the industry been treating you these days? Well, I'm a lot more used to the spotlight than before. The only thing that worries me is one of my agency's policies. What kind of policy? Well, since they place a high priority on marketing their talent as young and romantically available... The idol industry? <sighs> there's a no dating policy until you're 27 years old. So that's what's been bugging you? Hmm... That is a problem indeed. How much longer do you want to make me wait for? <laughs> Um, how is that a problem for you? Well, it just is. May I ask why? Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> hey, are you messing with me or what? <laughs> maybe. But still, robbing a girl of romance at such a critical time in her life, that's a cold-blooded thing to do. Well, it's not like I didn't see it coming. I've always been ready to give up my personal life for my singing career. Or at least, that's what I used to think. These days, I'm not so sure. Maybe you just need to take some time out and reflect. You've had so much to deal with ever since your debut. That's true. But there's also another reason. And that is... You promise you won't laugh? Cross my heart. Okay, I don't remember if I told you this, but... There's actually someone I like. Oh, so when you were writing your lyrics to your love song, they were referring to someone real? Yeah. Thanks to him, I can finally put my feelings into words without worrying it sounding fake. But if I have to let him go, then I'm afraid I won't be able to write from my heart. <laughs> After all, love is what powers my music. Sanachan, about the guy you like. Hi. What about him? Mmm. A little bit confident, huh? Because <laughs> it's me, obviously. I think I might know who he is, or at least I have an idea. So Seriously? Of course. Detectives have an eye for this sort of thing. But if you felt like giving me a clue to work with, I certainly wouldn't mind. Not that I need one or anything. <laughs> Not very subtle, are you? I suppose I could drop you a hint. Out of charity. You're the best. Okay then. So... The man who captured my heart... What about him? He's... Kind. Dependable. Someone you can count on to make you laugh or smile. Even when you're having the worst day ever. <laughs> That's why I like spending time with him. In fact, it seems like we never have enough since it always goes by so fast. And whenever we're together, I find myself wishing our day would never end. As unrealistic as that sounds. Damn. Sounds like one incredible guy. Do I know him? <laughs> That's all you get, Yagami-san. <laughs> so much for inductive reasoning. I didn't learn a thing. Well, that's alright. Sooner or later. Hey, how about we take a picture? Do you have different poses? Different face? <laughs> Duck face. <laughs> yeah, so we can check it here, right? <laughs> All I've got is the popo store, uh, smile burger, the cheating, the cat, 
This. The. Oh no! Sada blinked! No! <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. She didn't blink this time. <laughs> this is a weird photo. Kinda like it though. Alright. Yup. Looks just fine to me. <laughs> wow, you're actually pretty good. Can you send this to me later? Yup. That's all we have time for today. Tomioka-san! I appreciate you letting me come over like this, Yagami-san. Anytime. Feel free to drop by whenever you need to unwind. Think of it as your own private sanctuary, of sorts. But wouldn't that conflict with your work? Hey, I could always use a new assistant. <laughs> oh yeah? Then how much will you pay? I, uh... I'll get back to you on that. Hey! hey! Oh! Tomioka-san's watching too. Oh no! A scandal's gonna break out! She might lose her job or something. Will she be forced to break it off with me? I had a lot of fun today, Yagami-san. Time just flew right by, didn't it? And I noticed you're wearing a different shirt today. Nice. <laughs> Wow, it's going up way fast. Sure did. Let's hang out again soon? Definitely. I'll keep you updated. Thanks for taking me out, Yagami-san. Bye. Bye. <laughs> then she's gonna text me right away. Sana here. Just letting you know I had a wonderful time today. Hope you had as much fun as I did. Wish it could last forever. When I was with you, I found myself wishing time would stop for just the two of us. Lol, I am being serious though. <laughs> that might be a little bit too much even for her. Does that mean... For sure. I'm starting to understand how you feel now. You're gonna make me blush. So I gotta know, who's this guy you like, Sanajan? Not telling. <laughs> well, well, you know we have all the time in the world. I guess it's fine. We can take our time. Oh my god, what's gonna happen to me once the other girls come around? I feel like I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. <laughs> Tsukumo! You got my info? Nah. Hey Tsukumo, here's your package. <laughs> <laughs> yes! You have no idea how excited I've been about this! Your anime. Hey, whatever floats your boat. But anyway, anything you have to share on your end? Yes, I found this person you're looking for. Why wouldn't she bother changing her phone? Those things are like homing beacons, man. Damn, you're pretty good. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. Anyway, seems she's got a job at the Popo on Chichibugu Street now. Eh? Oh, come on. I have to go back to Popo? What's up with this? <laughs> yes, you do seem to get drawn to Popo stores quite a bit, huh? It's the Popo curse, Yagamishi. Okay. Well, we can go whenever we want. I want to make some progress on the main story, though, because I feel like it's been a long time since we... really dug into it. <laughs> Because I've been spending so much time with Sana, pretty much. <laughs> so if we want to... If we want to go to Yakiniku Kanai... Yes. To check out the guy. Because right now, to progress the main story, we actually have to do a side case. Which is a little bit weird, huh? But until we do this, I don't think Sugiura is going to contact me. So it's something we got to do. Cone defeats baseball bat. <laughs> the cone just self destructed. Oh, we're not allowed to go to Gendal Law Office right now. That 
that's right! I need to go freaking buy like a medical kit or something. But I gotta find the type O blood people first too. Where did they tell me to go again? I completely forgot. Ow. Ow! Hey, cut it out! You're starting to get really bothersome. You're everywhere. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yakiniku kandai. There he is. I've gotta say, his associate looks pretty rough. Maybe I can get close enough to hear them without them noticing. Do we want to put on a disguise? Hmm? Aren't you? Crap, Araji's not knows my face. He'll be on guard if I get too close. Oh, you actually want me to put on a disguise. We'll try this one this time. <laughs> Just to change it up. <laughs> These facial expressions are horrible. What? I want that land, and I don't care what you have to do to get it. You keep the Ushimara family out of this, got it? You doubt me? I've been beefing up security, you know? I've even hired Kaido. He's built like a tank and dumb as rocks. I assure you, I'm making every effort to crush them. The real problem is that the landlord's probably gonna be stubborn. I have a contingency in place already, take a look. Oh, a girl? She's cute, but what's this have to do with it? She's a landlord's daughter, fresh into her first year of college. Moved out on her own and everything. I've already got her address. I don't follow. Let's just say I've got some thirsty boys ready to go. And a picture is worth a thousand words in a negotiation. Damn, this guy! <laughs> Nobody wants his daughter's stolen virtue gone viral. I'm sure he'll see things our way. <laughs> ha! Holy shit, Arachi! You really did put the Yakuza out of shame. Anyway, let's wrap this up. I'm meeting Kaido in a few. And this is higher level than he needs to hear. Right. You've got our future in your hands. Handle it. Arachi is a monster. And Kaido is falling for this? Kaido-san is on his way to Kanunai. I need to talk to him about this. ASAP. Nah. Kaido-san, you got a minute? Ah, well. What is it this time, Tak? Kaito! Yo, Kaito! I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Oh, Yagami-san. Perfect timing. I think we have to put some things on the table. Oh. Talk. What's all this about? The rumors about Arashi-san were true, Kaido-san. This guy is scum. <sighs> Didn't I tell you to drop this shit, Talk? You did, but that's because you two have history. But whatever happened between then and now, he's not the same. Yagami-san, what are you talking about? Huh? Don't play dumb. I heard your whole conversation in Kanunai. You've got your eyes on some land, and you're sick enough to have your thugs hurt the... And you're sick enough to have your thugs... Hurt the owner's daughter to get it. Not only that, but you'd film a sexual assault and then use it as your bargaining chip. I think I heard enough. Wow, that's dark. Maybe you misunderstood something? No, I wouldn't call it that at all. Even Kaido-san is just a tool in your scheme. Hmm. Mm. Well, this is pretty unsettling, isn't it? I think Yagami-san might have the wrong idea here. We need some hard evidence. We kind of came here a little too early. But Kaito, you know what kind of guy I am, don't you? You think I'm capable of the horrible things he's saying about me? Aibo. Kaito, trust me. Come with me and I'll prove it. Right. Oh. I sign on for the job. I'm not going to go back on my word. Eh? Your word, Kaito-san? Sorry, Tak. But I told you to stay out of this. Anything from here on is my problem to deal with. Hmm? That's how it is, huh? Kaito! Are we done here? We need to get going, Kaito. Oh. Sure. He's using you, Kaito-san. I won't let him drag you down with him. <sighs> Did you hear a word I said, Doc? 
I told you to butt out. Mmm. I think Kaito gets it already. Hell no. I know the truth now, and I can't just turn a blind eye. And I'm telling you, I don't need your help. Come on, Kaito san! So you're willing to do what it takes to stop me? Uh. Yeah. I'll kick your ass if I have to. I wouldn't recommend trying. When was the last time you beat me in a fight? Never? Right. The old me never stood a chance against you. But this time, I think I'm fighting for something bigger, and I won't lose. <laughs> Fine! You can talk big, at least. But if you're gonna block my way, I'm gonna go through you, and that's gonna hurt. Uh. Let's see you try. I'm gonna wake your ass up, one way or another. Come on. I'm not holding back, talk! Really? I kind of got the impression that Kaido got it already. But I guess we'll see. I can block too. Ah, I can do that. I gotta get those EX actions, man. I'd like to hit them more often than I am right now. Whoa! All right. Oh, he actually didn't give me any mortal wounds. That's surprising. I thought he would, but maybe because we're friends? He's backing me into a corner. That's not good. Let me reset. Let's get out of here. Oh, damn! Props are slowing me down a bit. Oh, come on! Oh! Hey! I want to run off so I can get some props! Hey! Kaido-san! Don't be like this! You think you're all big and tough? We're friends, but I'm not that bad of a fighter, am I? Maybe? He does seem to be better than me, though. <laughs> oh! I did it! Little talk! Oh, oh. When'd you learn how to punch, talk? <sighs> Guess I picked it up somewhere along the way. Did getting your ass beat bring you to your senses? <sighs> Could've done without it, you moron. I've been seeing straight this whole time. See? That's what I thought! Huh? You still don't get it, Kaido-san? What's it gonna take? I'm out of ways to communicate to you, man. Why won't you trust me? I didn't even want to fight you. <laughs> that face? Talk. Listen. Seriously, Kaido, enough dicking around. You can't do guard duty if you're bruised and beaten. <sighs> My bad, Adachi. But it looks like I can't go with you. What? The stubborn son of a bitch isn't gonna let me through. You want me to come along? You owe it to talk to prove your innocence, right here and now. Innocence? What? So now I'm guilty of something? You don't believe me? Can't say that I do, actually. You've said a lot of shit that hasn't sat right with me since we met back up. <laughs> like what? Come on, man. We went drinking a bunch of times. You've said all kinds of shady stuff. I didn't need talk to point out just how much you've changed. Eh? You suspected him the whole time, Kaido-san? Then why did you... Uh... 
I still would have liked to have seen it with my own eyes, Talk. That's why I took the bodyguard job. I figured I'd be close enough to see it. And if he was gonna pull some ill shit with me around, you bet your ass I'd have kicked his to stop it. I thought maybe I could bring him around. What the hell? You could have just said that. I tried to tell you it was my problem, man. But no, you had to go poking your nose into it. Oh. So, Adachi, let's hear it. You have anything that would contradict Tok's account? <laughs> <laughs> I see how it is. Thank God for friends, right? And here, you were trying to save me. Brings a tear to my eye. I'll take that as a no, Arachi. Kaido! You know what, Kaido? You're a pain in the ass. You've never known your damn place. An idiot like you should just follow orders, not think. Huh? I've got some work for you, boys. All right, Kaido-san. Just like old times. You both know too much. Now I've got no choice. Uh... What's the plan, Kaido-san? Oh, I can't believe I let this guy sucker me like that. This is no time to mope, Kaido-san. We can settle this together if you want, though. Oh. Yeah, sorry, but I might need your help here. Cool. Time for the usual mayhem, then. Kaido! It was fun while it lasted, Kaido, but what can I say? You're poisoned to any partnership. Not oh, he's joining, too. How idiotic. Ooh, shiz! We'll focus on this guy first, cause why not? This guy doesn't know how to fight! Give me some EX actions, please! Kaido-san, you wanna finish that guy off? Never mind, I did it. Way easier than Kaito. <laughs> come on, Kaido, let's reconsider. I'm gonna come into a nice stack of cash soon. I'll get you in. We're friends, aren't we? We could still be partners. Right after you said he was poison. Ugh. Get out of my sight, Adachi. If I ever see your face again, I'm gonna pound it. Kaito! Bye, boys. Nah. You sure it was wise to let him lose, Kaido-san? Yeah. Nobody's gonna save him from the weight of his own deeds. As for me, not sure why I went looking for a new partner when I've already got one. Hmm? Aww. Partners, eh? Talk. When it's all said and done, I owe you more than anyone. So don't let me down. I won't, Kaido-san. Oh, they're like little, little schoolboys. Wanna get cheesy? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Guess it's not really our style. Damn, too much ass kicking for one night. I'm gonna go crash. Later. It's good to have you around, Kaido-san. Aww. <laughs>